tonight. You know, you weren't born with a silver spoon in your mouth. I'd put it there. Uh-uh. No, no. Shh. Yeah. At least one of us should live in luxury. Shh. Quiet, Peggy. I'll hear you. She'll hear you. Shh, shh, shh. Don't act like a spoiled brat. You know, if I'd known Maria was such a witch, I would not have left you here with her. She's probably going to try and make you not love Edmund because she wants you to hog she wants to hog all of your love to herself don't you give up on Edmund don't you ever he's the best <laughs> shh don't cry shh I'm spoiled <laughs> right all right all right darling I'm coming here we are look oh sweetheart it's Peggy I got your blue Peggy no don't cry Oh, my. I'll go get your juice. I... Kelsey went to boarding school in Chicago, didn't she? She really shared a lot with you. No, Anita told me. She also told me that that's where Kelsey was when she got pregnant. Do you think that's why she's there? Is it, is it, about, is it about Sam? Do you, do you think she's looking for the biological father or, or his family? Well, perhaps I'll find out more the next time she calls. Am I right? Is that what she's doing? Julia, she mentioned friends. That's all. Looks like a consultation, Nurse Santos. <laughs> How is Trevor? He is better. He's conscious. His vitals are good. Good. He was lucky to have you in the ER. Mm. I, actually, I think he was just lucky, period. I really don't know what saved him. But I am about ready to collapse, so All we're right. going to get going now. I'll handle people with we'll Sam. We'll see you guys later. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, see you later. Night. Thank you. I think it's probably best that Maria and Edmund don't know that Kelsey didn't make it home. No need to worry them. Excuse me. Dr. Joe's hiding something. Why Chicago? She went to school there. No, it can't be that simple. It would be if you stopped looking for doomsday. Oh, Nurse Harris is about to ring the school bell. Let me know how Trevor's doing. I will. So, Janet showed up at Brooks, all roughed up. Yeah, but Trevor didn't believe her story about being mugged for one second. To tell you the truth, I had my own doubts, too. And when Trevor had this reaction, what was, what was Janet's? I mean, did, did, did this set her off? No, she was very cool. But then again, he left before things could get really ugly. That certainly doesn't mean that she didn't take it out on him later. Well, what do you think? Should we post a guard outside ICU? Doesn't anybody else find this whole thing strange? I mean, Trevor crashes his car on the cabin road, and then Janet ends up missing. Come on. Well, when Janet feels kicked, she kicks back. Yeah, look, putting out an APB is impossible. I mean, we haven't got anything on her. Yeah, well, if Pierce and Brooke don't find Amanda, then we have something big now, don't we? Well, maybe Amanda should stay somewhere else tonight. Here we are. Come on in. Daddy. Come here, honey. Listen. Um, I know that your dad would want me to tell you this because you're a very strong little girl. You see, sometimes people get hurt and they get the kind of hurt that they have to go to the hospital for. You're going to heaven like mommy? No. No, he's not. D did you ever have a doll that you had to sew the button back onto? Mommy did. Okay, well, sometimes people are like that, and they need mending, too. And then they're all better again. It's good as new. When? Soon. You know what I think? I think your daddy would love to get a big get-well card from you. What do you think? You guys want to go upstairs and work on a get-well card yeah, for Trevor? better than any You medicine. have paints upstairs, don't you, Amanda? Okay, you go upstairs, show him your paints, and get started on a really nice card, okay? Oh, boy. I was wondering what we were going to say to them. And I wasn't sure that the truth was a good idea. Well, have you ever lied to Jamie before? Never. Well, then I think you would have made the same call, right? I don't know if I would have done such a good job. I can see why Laura worships you. You mean you don't? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, hi. hi. Is Amanda yeah. here? Uh, yeah, she's here. We brought Jamie here also. Good. Look, I know it's uh, 
juggling the schedule around a little bit, but why don't I take the kids back to my house tonight? Well, it's no bother here. Well, no, that's not the point. I just think it'd be better for Jamie and Amanda if they were together tonight, and I can always tell them it's a sleepover. Well, that's great. Why don't you join us? What, here? Yeah, the kids are settling in. They're upstairs. They're making a nice get-well card for Trevor. I... I, well, that's great. I mean, I could, I, I've got crayons and paints at my place. They could do it there. No, there's no need. I mean, we've got plenty of supplies upstairs, and then when Amanda's done, we can have her take it over to her dad. Yeah. I mean, that sounds perfect. I think sparkling cider is such a find. I mean, I really enjoy it very much. If you would prefer to order champagne for yourself. No, no, no. no. Sparkling cider is perfect. Whoa. Bianca's coming to visit me right after her school term is finished. How did she do? All A pluses. <laughs> I was just thrilled. I wanted to take her to Paris, but she really wants to come here to visit her friends. You know, I assume she's uh, kept up with her horsemanship. Yes, she's starting to show jump. Well, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I would, uh, I would uh, love for you to bring her to Wildman. I'd, I'd really like to see her. Oh, thank you. She would love that. She would be thrilled. You know that she adores you. It'll be like old times, but with one difference. Oh, a new cousin, Samuel Carlos. I would love Bianca to be a part of Sam's life. Here's to old times and new arrivals. Here, here. Time to pick up the phone and tell us what you think about Pine Valley. Call us at Soap Talk at 1-900-740-5000. Rate the stories. You can make a difference. That's 1-900-740-5000. Call us now. 95 cents per minute. He's a single dad. She's the annoying... mentioned that I saw you on the cutting edge with Noah and Kelsey. You did? You watched? Yeah, and I think that uh, your honesty must have touched a lot of people. I hope so. I thought of calling, sending a note. I wanted uh, what I said to have meaning. I'm sure anything would have been perfect. Tonight is perfect. It was definitely worth waiting for. Mmm, you smell that? I love coming home hey. to lamb and soda bread. Oh, it's because Peggy spoils it. He spoils him, doesn't he? Are you my angel? Your mama missed you. Your mama missed you. Time to get both of my people to bed. Blanket. How about just one game of peekaboo? No, no, you're not sharp. You won't be competitive. <laughs> yeah, but I'm too tired to sleep. You worried about Trevor? Uh, a little bit, but at least he's stable. Good. Time to take care of yourself. <laughs> oh, and time to take care of you. Yeah. You know, Wild One feels like such a sanctuary again. It's such a relief. Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. Well, Hurricane Kelsey blowed off in a westerly direction. No, it's me. Oh, mwah. You want to raid the refrigerator? Okay, let's go. Mwah. Come on. Need a bottle. Let's get some food. Let's get some food. <laughs> yeah. Let's have some of that soda bread. Oh, yeah. You want some of that? Hey. You want some of that? Say Trevor pulls through. How do we find out when he knows? I don't give him a chance to say anything. You know this is getting complicated. At least Janet's been neutralized. It's the very same stunt she pulled on Laurel. Well, we won't really know until Trevor is able, able to speak. Now, 
Until then, if you need my rusty sleuthing skills, please, Jack, call me. Well, I tell you, my gut just tells me that this time Janet got sloppy. If this turns out to be true, I will make the charges stick, I promise you that. faith. Very few people have that. Me, I'm, I'm somewhat skeptical myself. Miracles happen. Yeah. You think she'll look after me? Broadcasting Company, ABC.